the best non-physical compliments you can give a guy hi hello it's ann guys let me know if i'm wrong ladies pay attention let's go just a disclaimer we can agree to disagree that's fine one it's when you tell him that he makes you feel safe two it's when you tell him how much you like yourself when you're with him three it's when you let him know that him being kind and respectful is beautiful and that his energy is immaculate guys let me know body language that shows he likes you hi hello it's ann guys let me know if i'm wrong ladies pay attention let's go and just a disclaimer we can agree to disagree it's fine one this is gonna sound weird but pay attention to the way he tilts his head so initially when you start talking he's gonna tilt his head in curiosity but the moment you say something that kind of sparks an interest in him he's going to tilt his head to the opposite side and the stare of curiosity turns into a stare of admiration and it's usually accompanied with a smile two it's when you walk towards him and he takes a deep breath because he's preparing himself to talk to you, but also just have you around him. And three, it's when you're teasing and joking him, right? Yeah, it's funny. He'll laugh, he'll love it, and there's going to be some back and forth. However, if you tease him on anything that is remotely true, he's going to laugh, but watch his hands touch behind his neck, and he kind of just looks the other way, and then looks down. You caught him, sis. <laughs> Guys, let me know. Innocent things girls do that can turn him on. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. Just a disclaimer, we can agree to disagree. It's fine. One, it's when we're eating a lollipop. Two, it's when we're either walking away from them or we walk in front of them as we walk up the stairs. Three, yes, it's when you put your hair up. However, it's also when us ladies tend to put our hair down and we kind of like shake it out of the bun. And bonus, it's when we're wearing glasses and we kind of like push them up a little bit. Guys, let me know. Ladies, this is what his hugs mean. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, any kind of hug that is just super quick with him. Y'all are just friends. Hey, pal. <laughs> Two, it's the long hug. You guys hug and there's like a little pause where you guys are still there and then you guys release. There's a good bond between the two of you guys. That shows that you are somewhat important to him. And three, it's the cuddle hug. Literally the best kind of hug you can get from him, especially if you like him. It's where you guys hug and then eventually you just like stay there. I'll show you. Meet my pillow, this is gonna be him. It's where you guys hug, this is his chest, okay? It's where you guys hug and then you guys don't let go. Like you guys go on with your conversation with other people around you guys, but you're just like, mm-hmm. If y'all do that, he likes you. How to psychologically turn him on. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. Just a disclaimer, we can agree to disagree. It's fine. One, sexual innuendo. Did I say that right? I don't know. It's bringing phrases in a normal conversation that will make him think dirty. Kind of like a dirty joke that wasn't trying to be a dirty joke. Two, you gotta build up some teasing okay saying things like oh my goodness i could kiss you that is going to break any awkward barrier and opens up any possibility of you two being involved and three eventually eventually slowly ask him about his desires and what he likes but with that comes vulnerability because you need to be able to reciprocate that energy and be able to answer his questions too just don't do it all in one night like leave some things a mystery Things girls do, the guys find adorable. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's the happy dance we do when we are eating or we just get our food. <laughs> Two, guys, it's when you try to show us something on your phone and we kind of like lean in to see what you're trying to show us. And three, it's when you guys are hanging out and you tell her you're about to leave or you guys are on the phone and you're like, oh, I have to go. And she instantly, she's like, what, why? And you can see the sadness in her face because she just wants to talk to you or spend time with you. Bro, you know you're not leaving after that. <laughs> Ladies, you know you and her are best friends when these things happen. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, it's when you guys are supposed to be hanging out, but instead you guys are just sitting there on your phone about a foot away from each other in silence, sending each other memes and TikToks. Two, it's when you guys sync up, if you know what I mean. Three, it's when you text them and you're like, sis, and they instantly start panicking, so they either call you or text you back right away saying, what happened? Innocent things girls do that guys find so cute. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's when she goes on her tiptoes to try to reach something. Two, it's when she just woke up and she looks a little confused <laughs> and disoriented. And three, anything can be happening, but the moment that she reaches her arms out for a hug, 
It is the cutest thing ever. Literally, it's just... Guys, let me know. Things guys do when they're trying to get over someone. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, he's quiet. He will avoid you. Two, everything and anything to distract him. Picking up extra shifts at work, going to the gym, playing video games with the guys, hanging out with the guys. And three, he gets kind of mean. It's just his way of protecting himself, but for example, if she tries talking to him, he's not gonna appear interested. In a way, he's gonna try to just give her the cold shoulder.